So our first Chelsea chat quiz and the winner will get a copy of Upfront by Kerry Dixon. Our third, yeah, our third highest leading goal scorer. I hope we haven't, I hope we haven't asked that in the, uh, in, in the quiz. And also, they'll get this autographed photograph. I hope you can see that, because I can't, help, can't see the camera now. And it uh, comes with a certificate of authenticity. And uh, so that's uh, what's up for grabs. I've hopefully not made it uh, too easy. So here's our first question. In our 2011 to 2012 Champions League run, who scored the winner in extra time against Napoli in the second leg? Remember we were 3-1 down, we come back and won 4-1 after extra time. Who scored that winning goal? Number two. Who won the first Chelsea Player of the Year award in 1967? Who won the first... Chelsea Player of the Year award in 1967. The year I really started supporting us, actually. Um, well, <laughs> for the five years before that, I was told I was supporting Chelsea. But it's the year I really got interested. How many times did Kerry Dixon win the Chelsea Player of the Year? How many times did Kerry Dixon, playing for his autograph and his photo, win Chelsea Player of the Year? This result surprised me. Next one, number four. Who scored the only goal in the 1-0 2000 FA Cup final win over Aston Villa? Who scored the only goal in that game? So the FA Cup final, 2000. Who scored the only goal? Number five. In 2010, Chelsea played Portsmouth. In the FA Cup final, Drogba scored the winning goal in a 1-0 win as Chelsea defended the trophy that they won in 2009. Now, what was unique about that match? What happened for the only time in that game that hadn't happened before and hasn't happened since? What was unique about it? Question number six. Where was our 1997-98 Europa Cup winners cup final played? We won, remember? Sola got the uh, the only goal of the game, coming on the second half as a sub. But what city was it played in? Don't need the name of the ground. The city will be fine. Number seven. Kerry Dixon, as we know from my intro, <laughs> was the third greatest Chelsea goal scorer of all time. But how many goals did he get in all competitions? So Kerry Dixon, our third highest goal scorer of all time. But how many goals did he get for Chelsea in all competitions? That's his Chelsea goals, not career goals. Number eight, how many goals did Reese James score in all competitions for Chelsea in the 2021-22 season? How many goals did Reese James score just for Chelsea in all competitions? Number nine. Who's played the most games in all competitions for Chelsea Football Club? Who's played the most games in all competitions for Chelsea Football Club? And finally, number 10. What player has the most winners medals as a Chelsea player? What player has the most Chelsea winners medals? So, what player has won the most medals whilst playing for Chelsea Football Club? Right there, there's a few little. Uh, I've tried to do some for the newbies, some for the oldies, and um, it'll be interesting to see uh, to see some of your answers. Now, what I want you to do, the only criteria you need is you've got to be a subscriber. Of Chelsea chat on YouTube and if you're a subscriber just put subscriber in the uh, in the email heading and send me an email 
to the email address given and I will give the answers to this out on the 28th of July and the winner's prize will be in the post. Obviously, if there's a load of winners, uh, which I suspect there might be, because um, those those that uh, know the answers will, uh, will, will know the answers and I suspect Google will help out those that don't. But it's a bit of fun anyway and it can improve your knowledge, so, uh, so why not? So yeah, subscribe to the channel and uh, send me an email with your answers and I'll do a video telling you who the winner is and who the um, and what the uh, correct answers are on the 28th of July. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining in. Please subscribe to the channel. Another quiz next month. Up to Chelsea. Mm -hmm.